Alright, so on today's video we're going to be doing a little bit about hydroponics and generally when people think about hydroponics it's growing food in uh, in water. You don't have to have any soil. Um, it doesn't take long for you to realize that you can spend an awful lot of money doing this hydroponics thing. So, I have done it you know, the expensive way and bought the stuff, but I've also done it the cheap way and uh, made my own stuff. So I'm going to walk you through uh, making a hydroponic setup with stuff you probably have lying around the house. So there, there may or may not be a, a shopping trip. You might have to go and get some store-bought yogurt and you can you know, feed that to the dog or the kids or whatever is going to work for you. Um, but I'm going to really try to, uh, to limit special tools. So come on this ride, we'll, uh, we'll do some hydroponic lettuce. All right, so the first couple of times I did this, I used the, um, these are hydroponic net cups. They're like 15 cents a piece. They're not a lot, but um, you have to order them online. Well, I do, because where I live, there's no hydroponics place. If you got one down the street, by all means, go and buy those. Um, but then I used a two-inch hole saw to make that fit in there. And I told you we wouldn't use any special tools, so we're not going to do that. So, the first thing I did, I have a lot of these. A lot of homesteads have a lot of these, and I have a couple different varieties. I've got the wide mouth. Uh, we really need to use quarter bigger. Uh, the wide mouth, the narrow mouth, but then we have some of these, the old bale tops, and some of them are missing the wires, so those fit perfect. Uh, and they're just about the same size neck as the, as the narrow mouth. So, I went to the store, and I brought with me rings, just the rings. I didn't bring the uh, the jars with me because I thought they'd already think I was odd. And then I tried on containers, pre-made plastic containers, to fit my stuff. And I found quite a few different varieties that fit my rings. So this is uh, made by Stonyfield, oh my yog. It's not bad. Um, but the container fits, the container also fits in the jar without a ring, which is good because we're going to have water in this and the rings will rust. Uh, the brown cow fits in the wide mouth. Uh, I, I got these because they had peanut butter stuff in them, but in the end they don't hold, they don't, they, they fall through the ring, so those aren't going to work for me. Um, that's one of the uh, Oh My Yogs, those are great. And the Greek yogurt, really popular right now. That doesn't really fit down in, but I think you could make those work if that's all you had. Um, I like these. This is uh, the Dan and Light and Fit Carbon Sugar Control. And that fits in a small mouth. And these are really cheesy plastic. And uh, they're going to be easy to work with. So when we go on to our next step, that'll help us out quite a bit. So, I told you we wouldn't use anything special, so I'm going to try to not use anything special but we do have to have some stuff my uh, this is a, a breakaway you see the little things you can break it off so you get a nice sharp point to it um, that breakaway so we're using a sharp tool uh, be careful when you're doing this but if you poke in there and you got to go all the way down to the bottom remember you're trying to make it look something like this it's got to be able to hold the plant So I just cut down around there, I'm careful not to cut myself, and I got rid of those little those little things, and that works pretty slick, and that'll let the roots come down through, which is just exactly what we want, and that's um, that would be my second favorite option, and there those cups that I showed you are really easy to cut. My favorite option is. If you have one, this is just a wood burner or a solder iron. Let it get good and hot. Make sure you're working in a ventilated in place because um, this will smoke. And nice and easy. No, I didn't take the paper off. It'll burn off. And we just go right down. And I went across the bottom just a little bit. I put a hole in the bottom. Put another hole in the bottom. Um, but I'm trying to make this look sort of like these, which are the store-bought ones. So, and these will last for more than one one planting. To grow lettuce indoors takes uh, about six weeks, uh, 45 days or so. So, this 
So it depends on how much light your your window. I happen to have a really good south facing window here. So this to me is the absolute easiest. I'm not worried about cutting myself. Uh, I can hold it up by the rim and I can be vaguely artistic if I want to. So that's going to work just fine for us. So I'm going to finish that up and then we'll go on to the next step. So I got a couple of these ready. Uh, in the end, when I went through, I really don't like the size of these, the ones for the wide mouth jar, and I bet you can make them work, but when you see the rest of the process, I think, I think you'll understand what I'm saying. So I use what you got, but if you have something that's small enough to fit in a small mouth jar, I really think that's the way to go. So we're going to continue with our small mouth jar. Um, next, we're going to take a gallon of water and our fertilizer, which this is actually generic miracle crop. That's all it is. Um, this is a guaranteed plant analysis of 15, 30, 15. It's just a all over plant food. Um, I do kind of like the miracle Grow tomato formula. It has different stuff in it. Um, the directions on here for indoor plants, because you're going to be raising these outdoor plants indoors, is uh, one teaspoon per gallon of water apply every two weeks but we're not going to be applying every two weeks these plants are going to live in this solution so or for constant feeding use a mild solution by mixing a quarter teaspoon with one gallon of water and apply every time your plant needs water which is easy because our plants are going to live in water and i have my handy dandy quarter teaspoon and this isn't a heaping teaspoon kind of environment this is a level teaspoon kind of environment, if you can figure that out with this stuff, it's kind of granulated. Mine looks like it's wet. That looks like quarter teaspoon. We're going to put that in there. We'll cap that up. We'll close that back up because if you don't, it turns rock solid. We'll put that back in there. And we'll shake. Now, that fertilizer was blue, and you can see there's just barely a blue tint in here. That's exactly what you want. So now we'll take our quart jar, and we'll take our thing that we're going to put in it, and we want to fill the quart jar to about a quarter of an inch over the bottom. So not, not all that. So can you see that? The bottom, the plastic is sticking down in there just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to reach up here and grab my plants. About a week and a half ago, I started these. Uh, there is two different kinds. I have a, a red lettuce and a green. Um, and these ones over here, those are started in the hydroponics. Hang on, I got them right here. The AOK -OK starter plugs from Grodan. This is hydroponic rock wool and it's uh, actually rock that's heated up and then it's rock wool. So those are inert, they don't have anything in them, but you have to go someplace special to buy those and I told you we wouldn't have to, so you might recognize these. That is a Jiffy Pot. They come compressed and you add water and they inflate and we're going to take that Jiffy Pot and put it right down in there. So you can see now why it wouldn't be so great to have the larger container because that thing would just swim around in there. It's too, too, too much. So I want to show you on these. Let's see if you can see it. Can't see it on that one. Can't see it on that one. The yeah, wow. the uh, the roots will actually start to grow out through the sides, and that's exactly what we want. You can see this one has a root that's already fallen down through the bottom, and it'll feed through this solution. This is called a Kratky, uh, the Kratky method of hydroponics, and what happens is as the plant uses the water it uh, the water level drops and you're not supposed to add water uh, because this is a quart you may have to at some point 
um, but you're supposed to leave a good air space, the plant will actually develop air roots that absorb the oxygen. That's why you don't have to have any electricity, you don't have to uh, aerate the water, none of that. So we do have to protect the water from light because if we have light on it, it'll grow algae and algae will eat up the nutrients in the water. So take a piece of newspaper and I folded it down to the height and I wrap it around. We want to exclude the light. This is a, a single full piece of newspaper. And then I take my handy dandy packing tape and I put that right on there. And then I want to exclude as much light as I possibly can. So I have, oh, there they are, uh, rubber bands, and I'll put a rubber band around the top. So the great thing about this is, is that plant grows, because it's pretty pathetic down in there right now. As that plant grows, you can pop that off and pull that out and check the roots and put it back down and everybody will be happy. Um, but we've excluded light. So this is a pretty easy setup we get going. Um, it takes about 45 days. So if you started uh, two of these a week, you'd have two heads of lettuce every week. Uh, well, starting in about six weeks. So take our little our little plant there. We drop him in. Make sure he stays standing up. So the bottom has to be touching the liquid. And then we take our newspaper. I already had this one ready. Put that around there. Put that around there. So. Those are ready. I'm going to keep those in a bright south facing window. Um, but these, the bale top jars, this one actually has a crack, it won't hold the wire anymore. Those are perfect for this. So if you happen to have some of those lying around, you know, you're not supposed to really use them for canning anymore. We like to keep dry goods in them. Uh, but they work just peachy for this. So there you go, beginning hydroponics. I'll get you some pictures at the end of the video so you can see what these look like when they are. Uh, much fuller grown and you can do lettuces and you can do bok choy uh, Any simple short-term planting would be just fine for the for the crack key method. So good luck